Just like that, like how crazy is it? If the idea of reporting stress you out or put you in a panic mode instantly. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to create a professional social media report using Sprout Social's reporting tools, which is a report builder that lets you quickly creating your own custom reports without manually pulling data or calculating engagement rate or making charts all that kind of complicated stuff that takes ages to make. There's also a reporting template that you can download to help you get started. And after watching this video, you're gonna feel like building a social media report is actually not that bad at all. So let's dive right into Sprout Social. Here's my social media reporting dashboard that you're looking at. And to protect the privacy of my client, I'll be using a demo account to show you how everything works instead. By the way, if you guys are new to Sprout Social, I highly, highly recommend you guys to sign up for a free account with Sprout Social using the link in my description box below because this is literally one of my favorite all-in-one social media management tools out there and it takes care of everything from content calendar to scheduling to publishing content to social listening, social media analytics report and managing engagement and so much more. So I highly recommend it to you guys. So definitely check it out. Anyway, once you sign up with Sprout Social and you connect your social media accounts with the platform, Sprout Social will then automatically fetch all the data and create all kinds of analytics, which you can access easily in the reporting tab right here. Just to give you guys an overview, because I know that there's a lot of things going on right here, but basically all of these are mini reports about different things. So for example, the cross network report allows you to compare performance between different platforms. For example, in the profile performance report, um, you can see a high level overview of performance across, let's say, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Then in the post performance report, you can see another high level overview of performance at the post level between different network. And in the tag report, you can get an overview of your inbound and outbound tagged messages to easily analyze volume, performance patterns, and campaign effectiveness. So if you do any paid social campaigns, let's say, Facebook ads or Instagram ads. You can also see detailed analytics in the paid performance reports across different networks. So you can identify things like top performing campaigns and you can use those data to optimize future ad spend as well. Guys, you can even creep your competition's performance by looking at the competitor reports. All you have to do is you just gotta like add any Facebook and Instagram competitors right here and you're able to see their performance just like that. Like how crazy is it? But if you're like, I just want to see analytics of each individual network, well, you can scroll down to the profiles by network section, which is going to give you a very detailed breakdown of analytics of each network that you are connected to. For example, in the Instagram business profile, you can see the overview accounts performance or audience demographics or profile performance like followers, growth, impression, and etc. Same thing for pay ads. You can see the performance of all the ads that you've done on each platform under the paid by network. So at this point, you're probably like, oh my God, there's so many metrics and so many reports. Do I send all of these reports to my clients or which one should I focus on? Well, the thing is you can collect all the metrics in the world, but not all numbers are useful and they mean very little without some context, right? So that's why the next step is to build a custom report using only the analytics and metrics that are relevant to your business goal. And you can do that easily using the custom reports feature on Sprout Social. So let me show you how. Now let's head back to Sprout Social's report dashboard and select custom reports. You then can click the build report and this lets you build a customized report however you like. Now before I show you how to build one, I'm gonna quickly show you an example of what a report usually looks like. So the report should start with a name and a reporting period, obviously. Then the next part is introduction. Now this part is important because you wanna give your report a little context without throwing a bunch of numbers at your clients right away, right? Again, because data points by themselves are just numbers and they don't mean anything without any context, right? So that's why it's very important for you to, first of all, throw in a couple of sentences, brief sentences, describing what your goals are, what strategies you use and etc. You don't have to, you know, write a whole novels here. Keep it simple and your job is to really show that you're working towards something. For example, more conversion rates, more profile visits, more followers, uh, 
higher engagement rate, whatever that might be for you. Then let's move on to table of contents. Now this section tells your client exactly what to expect in this long report. So it's more professional, it's good to give a little direction, you know? The next part is cross channels performance. So this part is basically a bunch of aggregated reports showing you how each channel is performing compared to each other. Then you want to dive into each social media platform such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn performance or whatever channels that you're reporting. And once you've dug into your social media analytics within each platform, it's important that you make sense of what these metrics actually mean. That's why in the last part of your social media report will be all about key learnings and takeaways. This is where you're going to go beyond simply reporting the numbers and the metrics and analyze what these data actually mean. Then in the last section to round off your report is to include the next steps. You need to let whoever reading this report know exactly what you're going to do next based on all those sophisticated data that you're reporting. Because again, number by themselves don't mean anything without a little context. That's why you need to make sense of it. You need to let your reader know that you what you're doing next based on these numbers. And the whole point of reporting is to make sense of things and and know exactly what to do about these data. Now that you understand what the report looks like, let's recreate one. So let's click build report and that's going to open up the empty builder. So you're going to want to click on the top left corner to give this report a title. Let's say social media report, March 2022, for example, then you can click add description. So you can give a little summary to the report if you like. Then the next part is you can start building your report essentially by simply adding the wedges from the right. So for example, I'm going to use the text box option so I can add the introduction section. So I can even like customize the fonts as well if you want so you can bold it or italicize it and etc. And for the analytics, again, I can add any analytics that I think is suitable for this report by simply clicking on the different wedges from the right. And like, for example, I wanted to add, let's say, um, cross network performance summary or cross network impressions. Or if I want to include analytics from each platform, let's say if I'm managing um, Instagram and LinkedIn and I wanted to report the analytics from these two platforms, I can simply scroll up to Instagram and I'm going to add, uh, let's say Instagram top posts and stories or LinkedIn engagement, for example, as you can see, it's very simple. You just need to click a few button and it just shows up on the report. So you get the ideas, right? And let's say once we're happy with this, all you have to do is to click the save button and make sure to choose the reporting period. After you clicking save, I'm going to choose the last 28 days as an example. And once that's done, you can go ahead and click share to export your report. So you have the option to either download it as a an CSV file or a PDF file or send it directly to your client or team or even schedule the PDF delivery. How crazy is that? Um, if you want to go back and change things, for example, you can just click the three dots on the top right corner to edit it, or you can even duplicate, then edit it. You can view the report glossary if you want, or even delete the entire report. As you can see, you can literally build a professional report within five minutes. And all you need to do is to connect your social media accounts with Sprout Social, click a few buttons and let it work its magic. It's that simple. And trust me, ever since I started using Sprout Social's reporting tools, putting together a report is much less daunting. And most importantly, it's saves me so much time so I can focus on what I enjoy the most, which is strategy and content creation. And not to mention that every time when I show my client these reports, they're totally impressed by it and it makes me look good. So if this is something that you want to try it out for yourself, instead of spending hours on doing reports, making charts, make sure to use the link in my description box to sign up for an account with Sprout Social for free and download my social media reporting template to get started today. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helps you see how building a social media report is actually not that scary. And there are tools out there that can make the process 
so much easier and quicker even if you're just starting out and if you got to this part of the video i'm so proud of you because i really want to help you grow as a social media marketer content creator and business owner quicker so if you want more videos around social media remote work and travel tips make sure to check out these two videos here and i have a feeling that you will learn a thing or two i might do a part two of this kind of video but specifically about how to create a report manually in case some of you are not really ready to invest in a pay tool like small social so definitely comment below and let me know like i said if there are a lot of requests i will make another video for manual reporting if you guys want all right i'll see you guys in my next one bye